Hello guys, I welcome you to this uh, Science Paper 1 2023 GCE representation. So in this video, we are going to answer question B7 and one question from um, thermoionics or cathode D rays oscilloscope. Yeah, so this was um, the simplest question. So remember to subscribe to my, YouTube, to my YouTube channel if you are new to this channel. Yes, and if you find it useful, share also to your friends okay so the question is saying figure b7.1 shows an ac so this ac the word ac uh, symbolize or denotes alternative current okay so figure b7.1 shows an ac generator with its main components labeled a and D, b so the part labeled a it is called the split the split what links Part labeled A is called the split links. Then as for part labeled B, it is called the carbon blush. Part labeled B, it is called the carbon blush. So specifically, this one is um, an AC generator because of um, two um, split links they are around. Okay. So now when you talk of uh, DC, DC, it is different from um, AC. So as for DC, it is direct current. Okay. So now when you talk of um, AC, AC um, comes from the main supply, like in the energy which is supplied from the caliber dam. That one uses an AC. Okay, but not all, um, not all uh, appliances that we use in our homes that requires uh, an AC. Some they require direct current. Uh, the result on this part here, we can use a diode in order to make sure that. Uh, and uh, those appliances uh, works okay so the first question is saying write down uh, the uh, the names of uh, the components a and b so i was saying as for component a it is called the split link as for component a it is called the split link then as for b it is called the carbon blush or commutator so as for b it is called carbon blush or commutator then as for b which is the last one it is saying State three factors that increase the magnitude of the electromotive force, which is EMF, produced by the generator. So here I'm going to say the first one, we need to increase the number of tens. Increasing the number of tens, number one. So when you increase the number of tens, you are going to find that um, the magnitude of the electromotive force is going to increase. Apart from that one, you increase the current. Once you increase the current, the magnitude of the electromotive force also is going to do a T to increase. Okay. Apart from that one, you need to use strong magnets or permanent magnet by using permanent magnet or by increasing the number of rotation. By increasing the number of rotation or by using a permanent magnet. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. So the next one is saying, which is um, this one here, yeah, I've just... Uh, just want to us to revise on this part here, which is coming from the cathode. So the question is saying figure 12.3 is a simplified diagram of a cathode ray oscilloscope. So before I answer the question Z, let me try to explain on this part E. So as for part F is called the filament. So I'm saying as for part F, it is called the, the filament. So the, fil the, the function of the filament is to eat up um, this part E, which is E. So as for part E, it is called D, the cathode. Part E, it is called the what D, the cathode. And cathode D is negatively charged. Okay. As for cathode D, it is negatively charged. And the result, since it is negatively charged, it can, it can produce what D, electrons. Since E, it is the cathode D, which means it can produce what D, electrons. Okay. So the reason why I'm saying um this e it is cathode and it can, it can produce electrons is like this since e, this e it is negatively and electrons are negatively charged which means this one can produce what e? electrons once it is heated by part f which is the filament okay and then as for part c part c it is called d the grid so the function of the grid it is to control the amount of electrons to control the amount of electrons in that is going to pass through um, the vacuum or the space. Okay. Then as for D, 
D, it is called the Y plates. D, it is called D, the Y plates. Then as for A, it is called D, the X plates. D, it is called D, the Y plates. Then as for A, it is called D, um, the X plates. So the function of um, the Y plates is to deflect the beams of electrons um, vertically or ups and down. So the function of uh, the Y plates is to deflect the beam of electrons up uh, ups and down or we can say vertically. Then as for A, which is um, the X plates, the function of the X plates is to deflect the beams of electrons um, left and right. Okay. Then as for B, but B it is called D, the fluorescent what screen. So as for B, it is called D, fluorescent what screen. Okay. Or we can say the screen. So the function of uh, the fluorescent screen is um is to form the image once the electron it it okay. So the first question, which is Loma numeral number one, is saying what are the cathode layers? Okay. So as for the cathode layer, we can say it is the emission of uh, electrons, the emission of electrons from um, the cathode from the cathode to the anode. Okay. It is the emission of uh, electrons from the cathode to the anode. Now, in this diagram here, we don't have the anode. Okay. So, in this diagram, we don't have the anode. Okay. So, the anode, it is usually positively charged, which means when the cathode produces electrons, those electrons are going to be attracted to the anode. And then the anode is going to accelerate them. Okay. It is going to accelerate those beams beams of what electrons okay so cathode lays is the movement of electrons from the cathode to the anode the movement of electrons from the cathode to the anode that is the cathode lays then the next one which is loma numeral number two is saying explain how the cathode lays are produced explain how cathode lays are produced so cathode lays are produced when the cathode is heated by the filament Okay, so here I'm saying the cathode layers are produced when the cathode is heated by the filament. So once the cathode is heated by the filament, the cathode is going to is going to produce what electrons since the cathode is negatively charged in nature or it is negatively charged. As the result, it is going to produce electrons, and those electrons are going to be attracted to the anode. Okay, so the answer is going to be uh, it, it produces cathode lays when it is heated. Okay, the cathode lay produces what? Cathode The cathode produces cathode lays when it is heated by the filament, which is part F. Okay, then the next one, which is uh, Loma numeral number three, is saying name the parts label D, C, and D, E. So, part label D, C, and E, as for C, I was saying it is called in the grid. Then as for E, it is called D, the cathode. Okay, so I'm saying E, it is called D, the grid. And the function of the grid is to control the amount of beams of electrons that is going to pass through the vacuum. Then as for E, it is the cathode. The cathode, when, once the cathode is heated, it is going to produce electrons. And those electrons are going to be attracted D to the anode. Then the anode is going to accelerate the beam of electrons in the vacuum okay so let's move on to the next one which is question um, loma numeral number four which is saying what are the functions of c and e in the CLR or which is the cathode lay oscilloscope so the function of c which is the grid is to control the beam the amount of beam of electrons that is going to pass through the vacuum then as for e E, the function of E, which is the cathode, is to produce the beam of electrons. Okay, so once E produces the beam of the beam of electrons, those electrons are going to be attracted to the anode. Since the anode it is positively charged, so on this part here, what I've forgotten, I forgotten, I need also to tell you that unlike the terminals, they attract. Since cathode D it is negatively charged, then as for anode D it is positive. Then say yes, as for anode D it is positively charged. So we are going to find that there will be attraction in between the, the electrons that are going to be produced from the cathode 
and they are going to be attracted to the anode and then the anode is going to accelerate the beam of what electrons so that was um, the last one see you next time okay thanks for watching